Hello! Here is a quick tutorial on multiple payment methods. Let's show you how that works. But first, you need to go to the App Store or Google Play Store and update your Shopkite Merchant app. Once you're done updating, click on Open. Please note that these features can only be implemented by the merchant or business owner. So if you're not the merchant or business owner, please share this video with them. Alright, so next we open the app and first thing is you'll be prompted to sign out. Just go ahead and sign out of the app. Don't worry, you'll sign back in easy. And if in the process of signing back in, you happen to have forgotten your PIN, don't worry about it. Just use the forgot your PIN option below the sign in button to reset your PIN. Now first thing is you'll be prompted with a pop-up box saying add payment method. Go ahead and click on that. By default, cash will be a payment method already existing. Click on the add payment method at the bottom. Select the payment option you would like to add, whether it's POS, bank transfer, USSD, online payment or check. Uh, select any one which uh, is your preference and select the provider in the next input field. Search for the bank or provider that you'll be using for that particular payment option. Uh, in this case, money points. Once you input the first characters, the results should come out. Next thing you want to do is select the stores you want this payment method to reflect in. Once you're done with that, you can add any extra info in the optional input box below. If there's no additional info you need to add, go ahead and save that payment method and it will be added automatically. Now, let's show you how this reflects in your sales. Let's go ahead and make a sale. We search for an item and let's proceed to the point where we now have to select the payment method. You see it looks different. We have three payment method options here and the total cost of this item is 2,400 naira so we can split the payment depending on what the customer is paying with. Customer could be paying with cash, with a combination of transfer, a debit or a credit card. You can impute the respective amounts in the different fields based on what your customer is paying. Once you're done inputting, you just click on proceed and your payment will be recorded. Now the amazing thing is, you can now go to your sales record and check that sale you just made and you will notice when you do that that all of the payment options that were recorded during the sales process reflect here in the sales record. And that's how you now have a better understanding of how much came through which medium from your store. For further information on how these features work, please feel free to reach us on the number on your screen to learn more. Check out our videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching.